that, this is my kind of Petrucci-esque preset that I've put together for the Podgo. Now I'm just going to chat you through the preset uh, with the camera up here and show you the choices and stuff that I've made. You'll be able to get that preset in my folder if you want to or if you've already bought my folder before, bought me a coffee, you'll be able to just use that old link and get it. There's no need to do that if you don't want to, you could just watch the video and grab the settings from there. But I would ask you to leave a comment or leave a like or whatever, subscribe if this is at all useful for you. Um, and maybe if 10 people say upload this to the custom tone site, I'll do that. Uh, maybe, but 10 is a lot of people in it. Anyway, so let's go ahead with this. I'd say the era of dream theatre that I'm most interested in was around kind of scenes from a memory, six degrees, Octavarium train of thought kind of those eras and there's a, a strong kind of mark series element to most of that I think train of thought he started also using a rectifier but I still think there was some mark on the albums and stuff uh, I've got no idea really how I would tell that for sure but here's the choices that I've made so at the start of this chain we've got a, a scream 808 tube screamer essentially and I've got the gain set at 6.2, tone at 6.5 and level at 6.7. I'll just flash up his more recent settings with the Keeley Red Dirt, which is kind of a modified tube screamer if you want to get even closer to whatever his modern tones are. And also I've got a gate at the start, that's just the default gate because we're using fairly high gain. Uh, so these are the rhythm settings for the Scream 808. The gain comes down to 5.3 and a bit of a boost for the lead. So a, we've got our rhythm tone, well C is our double tracked rhythm tone because I'm using like the TC Mimic style thing, double take, and then B will be your solo tone. So I'll just take you through the amp settings now. So we're using the Cali 4 lead, uh, the Mesa Boogie Mark 4, and I think these settings were something that I saw online, uh, particularly the Particularly the EQ settings at the end, you know, the, the Mezaboogie graphic EQ. They may be a bit different to what you've read about John using, but I did see them in a photo somewhere, so they're not completely based in nothing. So the lead gain I got at 8, lead drive at 6.5, bass at 4.5, the mids at 5, they get pushed up to 7 for the solo tone, treble at 7, channel volume at 9.3, the presence drop down to 2, master at 4, sag at 1.5 ripple at 5 everything else the same um then 0.6 for the 80 hertz like a little boost in the bottom end 240 at naught a little dip at 750 of minus 3 db and 2200 going back up slightly to 0.6 db minus and then minus 1 db at 6600 hertz so those are the amp settings and as i say for your solo is a mid boost to kind of make it cut through a bit more i've got a eq low high shelf giving us a bit of a, a push in the lower end kind of moving a bit more air so plus 6 db at 150 hertz this is pre-cabinet though so you're not going to get anything crazy overwhelming it's just uh, a kind of a feel thing a bit of a girth thing i'm switching between uh mics for this so the rhythm tones i'm using the 57 dynamic uh one inch away from the speaker on a 4x12 Cali V30 and I leave the high cut where it is and then for the lead tone I'm changing to the 421 dynamic mic I know John Petrucci normally would use both of those mics on a cab um, but we can't do dual cabs in the pod go so I have to make do and then for the lead tone I high cut down to 4 kilohertz to just give it more of that sustaining feel the delay three dual delays so stock settings in the dual delay except i've brought the feedback up to around 70 77 and i've brought the mix down to 32 and the high cut down to five um the modulation i've got off trails i've got on and then the very last setting this double take i've got on snapshot c slot down to four source stereo um just to try and give you some of that dual tracking kind of thing but yeah hopefully that's vaguely useful to someone as i say you can get the preset in the description or if you've already grabbed my podgo presets it will just be in the folder that you've already got access to um but if 10 of you want to say give me that preset i'll upload it on custom tone like the video subscribe all of that sort of stuff if you found this useful obviously there's plenty of other ways to get petrucci-esque tones this is just what i found work for me i'm not on authority on petrucci or anything i was just a fan back in the day so um 
that's how I would achieve the tones you saw in the intro. Thank you for watching, catch you in a bit.